Perfect. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our first episode of the World Cup Update series titled World Cup Dates. Yeah, we're, we're still thinking about that name. Um, today is November 10th. Um, this is our series where we will be giving you consistent World Cup updates because it's coming up. It's a week and a half away. So, uh, yeah, teams are releasing their rosters. Injuries are happening. Things are happening with the World Cup in Qatar in general. So we wanted to set the series up to give you quick little updates for those that may not be on Twitter, Instagram, uh, or may not see these things otherwise. So first, we're going to start with the USA national team um, releasing their roster. Um, I'm not going to go over the entire roster. I won't name it off, but I'll put it up right here um, so you guys can see if you uh, really want to. So key things here. Ricardo Pepe not included. Um, if you had watched our top 10 prospects that are that could perform well in this World Cup, he was my first pick. Um, and he hasn't even been included in the team uh, with the likes of Josh Sargent, Jordan Morris, Jesus Ferreira, and Haji Wright being picked over him. Um, not to say his players don't deserve to be here, maybe not Jordan Morris, but Ricardo Pepe deserved to be here over all of them. He's having a killer year over in um, Holland in the Eredivisie for Groningen. I think it's like five, five goals, two assists in eight games. Um, he should be on the plane to Qatar, but he's not. Um, very disappointing on the USA's part. Um, really shows, I think, to me how much they want to promote the MLS by including MLS players in the World Cup roster. But if if that was the case, I think it would have been smart to include Ricardo Pepe because he was produced by an MLS um, academy and team. So, yeah, that's um, pretty disappointing. Um, everything else is generally how you'd expect. Zach Steffen is on the team. Um, he was our number one through the entire qualifiers, and Greg decided to not include him in the World Cup roster. So there has to be something, I think, deeper that we don't know about, may not ever know about. Um, so he was not included. Um, second update is the English roster was also um, released. Generally, everything is how we expect it. There's a little controversy here and there. The big one being Fikayo Tomori uh, was not picked. Um, if you know... Uh, English football team, or their players. Fikar Tamari has been killing it as center back for AC Milan. He won the league last year. Um, his stats are are off the charts um, comp- compared to the other England center backs, but he wasn't picked with Connor Cody, Ben White, Harry Maguire being picked over him. Um, he at least deserves to be on the plane to Qatar, and he's not being, and it's honestly pretty disappointing. Um, he fully deserves it. I think... M- 99% of people would agree that he deserves it over his players. Um, could it be the fact that he went abroad and that the, um, Gareth thinks that he's not playing against the right competition? I don't know. Uh, we will never know. It's a little disheartening for for, for me, too, because I'm a Chelsea fan. You know, he came from the Chelsea um, youth system. Um, it's a little disappointing. It's it little is an understatement. It's very disappointing. I would have liked to see him in England jersey um, in Qatar 2022. Um, James Madison was picked, which is great. A lot of people were saying um, he might not be, and there was big controversy because he fully deserves it. He's having a great year. Um, he's a solid player, solid uh, central attacking mid. He is going to be on the plane. Player who's not is Jaden Sancho. Um, he's not going to be on the plane, which um, I understand it. He hasn't been doing anything really, but it's kind of sad to see because you know he was so hyped up. He he is a big player. Um, what did he cost for for United? Yeah, was eighty million, I think. Um, Seventy million. Expensive player. I'm not going to say he deserves to be here, but I would have liked to see him here. You know, like it, it's, it sucks for him. Calvin Phillips on the side, even though he's played one game this year for City, um, which sucks for him because he's a quality player. Um, he was called up to. Uh, I'm not sure who should, like, if there's anyone that could have been picked over him per se. A uh, name was floating was Ruben Loftus Cheek, but even I would pick Calvin Phillips over Ruben Loftus Cheek. Um, Connor, Connor Gallagher here in midfield as well. A little. Interesting. Um, I wouldn't say he doesn't deserve it, but I don't know if he deserves it yet. You know, like, um, but he will be there as well. My personal opinion: England have a, the weakest side for any group favorites. Not to say they won't play well. There's a lot of solid players. You know, um, Harry Kane easily being the best player. Mason Mount, Declan Rice, um, Kieran Trippier is having a great uh, year at right back for Newcastle. So uh, they could still do, you know, really well. I think they're still going to make it to the knockouts. I think it's not certain that they'll be first in the group with USA, Iran and Wales. Uh, I guess that just remains to be seen. Um, Another team that was released was the French team. Um, Nothing really special about that one. Um, It's generally the same. 
uh, as we had expected. Um, only one that I'm a little iffy about is Philomendi is not included in the side, but they have enough quality to make up for it with their center backs, including like Pavard, uh, Teo Hernandez. A lot of center backs, though. Not many. I think there's only two fullbacks. Um, so it's interesting. I want to. I, I, it's. I'm interested in seeing how they play with that. Their attack is easily one of the best in the world with Benzema and Bappe and Gungu, um, Olivier Giroud being there. So they are forced to be reckoned with for sure. The midfield is midfield is a little. Um, if he blessed because Conte and Pogba are both injured, so Chomeni and Kevin are gonna have to turn up this year. Gonna have to. Um, last team I'm gonna mention is Germany. Solid team as well. Their defense is a little iffy for me. Um, it hasn't been a strong suit in a while for them. Overall, though, the rest is very solid. The midfield is crazy with you know Gretzka, Kimmich, uh, Gundogan, and uh, you know Muziala, of course, who's having a great year. They're gonna be um, very deadly. Um, Mario Gretzka, who is on the side for the first time in five years, which um, if you know the World Cup, you know he won the World Cup for them, I think it was at 2014. Um, so he's been included on the side, um, which is definitely interesting. Um, Yusuf Amokoko, uh, a forward for them, which, which is great to see. He's only 17 still. He's younger than me, and he's been included on the side. Um, you'd love to see it. I'm excited to see what he does, if he does game time. I'm sure he would against like the smaller teams, you know. But Germany definitely... Underrated, I feel. No one really talks about them because we know their quality. And especially in goal, I mean, you have Neuer, Ter Stegen, and Kevin Trapp. Three of arguably the top 10, 15 keepers in the world. Um, definitely lots of quality, so I can't wait to see what they do. Um, injury update real quick. More injuries, of course. Sadio Mane has been hurt. He's officially out of the World Cup, which hurts to see because I think a lot of people wanted to see him um, play for Senegal, fight for Senegal, um, see what they could do. Um yeah, it, it, it sucks to see um, the amount of players that won't be able to achieve their dreams because of uh, a lot of these leagues, you know, rushing the games and playing like twice as many games as they normally would. They're, it's going to have um, an impact on these players, and hopefully there's never another Winter World Cup. Um, Tecatito also hurt. Reese James officially going to be out. There was a chance of him coming back um, for the squad if Gareth picked him, but... Uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. He said no, which sucks, but he's young. He's going to have another year. Tecatito, back to him. He's going to – it sucks for Mexico because he's a big player for sure for them. Um, he won't be He won't be there. Um, so we're just going to have to see. Um, like I said, it sucks like to not have these stars in the Qatar for the World Cup, the biggest sporting event ever, um, at least in the world currently. Um, it hurts. It really does hurt. Um, so, yeah, I think this will be it. Uh, cut it off right here. Like I said, it's going to be short, quick for you guys, straight to the point um, for a little quick update for those of you who might not have access to these updates otherwise. Um, so if you made it to this point, if you like it, um, please like the video. Please um, subscribe. It'll really show us that, you know, we should keep making more of these. Um, and we enjoy making these videos. So, um, yeah. So thank you for going to this point. Thank you for watching in general. Um, and uh, hope you all enjoy the world cup yourselves and please pray for these players so they don't that more of them don't get hurt so um yeah so you all have a good day please um and uh yeah if you want to check out more of these videos like i said we'll be consistently uploading them so come back for more um and yeah long outro but um i'll see you guys uh next time have a good day